Uh, what's happening? I'm going to make this little video real quick. I'm getting a lot of uh, questions in my DM about um, ground vehicle weight ratings on the, on these uh, on these trucks, you know, on these uh, hot shots and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm gonna I'm a see if I can clarify some of them thoughts for you, and um, I'm gonna jump right into it, man, because it's very important to know these numbers and. Especially when you're you're planning to get into the business and you want to start hauling, you know you definitely gotta um, know these know these things. So let's get into it. So basically, you where to find your ground vehicle weight rating. If you want to know where it's, you know what it is on that truck that you're looking at purchasing or whatever the case may be just simply look in the door man it's right here right on this badge right here your vin number you know tire pressure all that other good stuff and right here it says gvwr mine is 19,500 pounds right for the truck this is just for the truck right so that's your uh that's basically the weight capacity for this truck so when you add a trailer, because most of us, we're doing hot shot, obviously we're going to add a trailer. You have the same situation on the trailer, on the VIN number. Right there with the VIN number, it's going to give you tire stuff, you know, same, same type of information. So on my trailer, my trailer is um, 24,000. It's 24,000 pounds ground vehicle weight rating. I have two, 20, two 12 thousand pound axles back there. And usually it goes by the axle weight on the trailers, but in some cases you could have like on, on Pearl's trailer, it actually has the same axle weight, but the trailer is weighted at 26,000. And that's crazy, the Wedge trailer is actually rated higher than this sun, the Sun Country. So, um, you know, in most cases, it's, it's number for number. But So with that being said, when you get your combined, combined gross vehicle weight rating, so in the door, it's going to say gross vehicle weight rating, 19,500. And when someone asks you what's your combined gross vehicle weight rating you combine the trailer which is 24,000 and 19,500 so combined that's 43,500 right so that's what you're going to put on your registration your tags etc etc when you get the truck registered that's what's going to go on there because your DOT number is going to be attached to that. The plates go across that scale. You know, they can read that. 43,000 is going to come up. I go across the scale. My weight is going to be there. They can determine if I'm overweight or not. All right. Or if I'm close, then they might stop me and put me, you know, on the weight my axles to see if I'm, you know, over on uh, one of my tens or, or my stairs or something like that. So. It's very important to know these numbers before you start loading these trucks and how to how to calculate what your payload could be excuse me um you take your gross vehicle your combined gross vehicle weight rating right forty three thousand five hundred and as you can see you know i weighed my uh my truck and that's the best way to find out what your truck weighs you could Google it. You could, you know, the manufacturer will tell you how much the trailer weighs. You know, to me, the best thing to do is just go to the truck stop, empty, fill your tanks all the way up. If you have an auxiliary tank and a main tank like I do, you fill both of them up to capacity. Everything that you travel with, you know, your jump box and all, you know, little stuff that you're going to carry in the truck. Make sure you have all this stuff in there. Weigh your truck. 
you know, without any freight or cars or whatever you're hauling, you know, empty weight. That's called your curb weight, okay? So get that number, which mine came out to 22,460 pounds for this unit empty with full tanks. So for calculation purposes, let's just fill in that little 40. So let's make it 22,500, right? So my combined gross vehicle weight rating truck and trailer it's 43,500 pounds right now I'm going to minus my 20 the, my curb weight which is my empty weight right curb weight of the truck and trailer some people say empty weight so I'm giving you both um, minus that 22,500 that leaves me with 21,000 that 21,000 is my payload amount. That's how much freight that I can put on this, this truck and trailer without legal, without going over my legal limits, okay? And that's basically how you calculate your, your ground vehicle weight ratings. So, you know, don't get confused with some of these trucks when they say tow rating, you know, 30,000 pounds or X, Y, Z. Don't, that's not the ground vehicle weight rating. You know, DOT is gonna look they pull you in and they do an inspection they're going to look at that badge they're going to look at you know the tires you know, all that stuff that's in that in that just right here they're going to check all of that out okay so you know uh with my 3500 i was like 300 400 pounds over the weight of not my truck and trailer but the, the type of wheels that I had and what I was carrying. So they shut me down for not having the right tires. So you, you wanna be mindful of that too. So with, with the 5500, you know, I got 19 fives on there. We good to go. So, you know, but to, to calculate your, your, your ground vehicle weight rating, simply check in your door, look at the badge on your trailer, add those up together that's what goes on your registration 43,500 gross my gross combined gross vehicle weight minus my empty weight 22,500 equals 21 is my payload all right so I can put 21,000 pounds of cars on here which I'll probably stay in the 20 19 20 range just to give myself a cushion okay so that's how you do that so I just kind of wanted to, you know, put this video out here. And while I got this, got your attention, I want to, I want to clear something up. Um, with the 26,000 pound non-CDL thing. So if you're 26,000 pounds and under, you don't need a CDL. In some cases, some cases you do. So I'm about to explain the difference. So. In this hand, I have a box truck that's, 20, that's rated at 26,000 pounds. Non-CDL, you see those for sale all the time. You know, non-CDL, box truck, et cetera, et cetera, 26, 24 foot box truck, boom. Okay, that's true because that unit is one unit. It's a single unit. You don't need a class A CDL to operate that vehicle or a class B either. You know a cdl period you don't need a cdl to operate that vehicle you can use a regular uh, driver's license and the reason why is because it's not a combination so a lot of the guys in high shotting that want to do it they don't have a cdl they always asking that so in this hand you have a ram 3500 with um a two car right two car trailer and the Ram is rated at the GV RW, I mean, <laughs> ground vehicle weight rating that's found in your door on the Ram 3500 is rated at 14,000. I know because I have one. I'm actually in front of me. So it's 14,000. Now I go get a trailer that's a two car or, yeah, a two car, right? Because that's about the only thing you're going to find with a 12,000 pound vehicle weight, uh, gross gross vehicle weight rating on it, right? So, again, that's 26,000 if you add them up. 
It's not 26,001 pounds, so legally, you don't need a CDL, right? Wrong. So, because that trailer is over 10,000 pounds and is being towed by another vehicle, which makes it a combination, you need a CDL. A lot of people argue me down about this. I did my, my research. I talked to, um, I've talked to DOT, you know, so that's, that's a fact. You can Google it, look it up yourself, but just don't get, uh, don't get caught out there pulling a trailer that's over 10,000 pounds without a CDL and your combination. So my best advice to you is to get your CDL. That way you can actually upgrade your trailer and, um, you know, you know, you can, you can upgrade your trailer and do more. You're not limited. So just get your CDL. You don't want to be looking over your shoulder. I know people, I've seen guys that actually ran that combination. They didn't have any problems, you know, with DOT. And it, it really depends on what state you're in. So you really want to check what, what, you know, the areas you're going to be running, you know, it's, it's almost like jaywalking. It's like it's, it's illegal, but they're not really tripping on it until you get that officer to just, you know, he just want to be on, on one that day. And me personally, I wouldn't want that. So I, I'm, I'd rather just ride right than I ain't got to worry about nothing, you know, when I get pulled over. So I always keep that in mind. And um, that's how you calculate your ground vehicle weight rating about that truck life.